A surprise fossil discovery has revealed the earliest known ancestor of scorpions and spiders. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and the arthropods are one of the most diverse and ancient group of animals in history, existing for at least the last half billion years. Today, represented by insects, myriapods, crustaceans, and arachnids, arthropods make up roughly 75% of the world's biodiversity, so they are very important in life's history. The group of arthropods represented by spiders, scorpions, horseshoe crabs, ticks, mites, and several extinct groups like the eurypterids or sea scorpions are known as the chelicerates, which are arthropods that possess chelicera, which are fangs or pincers used to grab and envenom prey. The chelicerates are one of the oldest arthropods, existing shortly after arthropods appear in the fossil record, but we aren't entirely sure about when exactly and how exactly this group separated from other arthropods. But after studying several fossils discovered back in the early 2000s, a team of researchers is able to confidently say that they have found another piece to that puzzle. So this new species of arthropod has been given the name of Cetapodites abundantis, and it was a very small arthropod, measuring only about 5 millimeters in length. Cetapodites, when it was unearthed in the formation known as the Fezzawatta Shale in Morocco, was the most abundant species unearthed during that time of the early 2000s. But it took this long for researchers to actually get around to looking at these fossils and then identify it as a new species. The fossils date back to about 478 million years ago. So at the time, Morocco was underwater, covered by a vast ocean. So this little arthropod was a sea dwelling one. And it looked a lot like a cross between trilobites and horseshoe crabs, a segmented body with a hard carapace on its head. This little guy would likely be swimming around, if it swam at all, close to the seafloor, feeding on plankton and other little bits of dead flesh. Initially, the research team, led by Lorenzo Lustri of the University of Lausanne in Switzerland, only intended to identify and name the fossils. They didn't expect to be describing a brand new species of arthropod. While studying several fossilized examples of this species, the team discovered biramis or two-branched appendages on the animal's rear. After finding and studying the position of these appendages, the team was able to confidently place Cetapodites as a member of the arthropod family called Ophacolite. This family of arthropods is only represented by one species, Ophacolis kingi, which lived during the Silurian period between 444 and 420 million years ago. Cetapodites is over 30 million years older than Ophacolis, making Cetapodites now the oldest known representative of this arthropod group, bridging the gap between earlier arthropods and the Chelicerates. While it might not seem like a whole lot of importance in the grand scheme of paleontology, this is important because of the gap between those early arthropods and the earliest known Chelicerates. Of course, the identification of Cetapodites is just step one. Step two, three, four, and so on is going to be how did this species evolve its unique characteristics and how did it continue to evolve into the modern scorpions and spiders that we know and love today.